intention is for the new health restrictions to remain only until the start of December. But as we saw from the first lockdown, the economic effects are much longer lasting for businesses and areas than the duration of any restrictions. And as the Bank of England have said this morning, the economic recovery has slowed and the economic risks are skewed to the downside. Given this significant uncertainty, a worsening economic backdrop and the need to give people and businesses security through the winter, I believe it is right to go further. So we can announce today that the furlough scheme will not be extended for one month. It will be extended until the end of March. The government will continue to help pay people's wages up to 80% of the normal amount. All employers will have to pay for hours not worked is the cost of employer NICs and pension contributions. We'll review the policy in January to decide whether economic circumstances are improving enough to ask employers to contribute more. Of course, as the furlough itself is now being extended to the end of March, the original purpose of the job retention bonus to incentivise employers to keep people in work until the end of January obviously falls away. Instead, we will redeploy a retention incentive at the appropriate time. And for self-employed people, I can confirm the next income support grant, which covers the period November to January, will now increase to 80% of average profits up to 7,000.